Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Yes, Deb Chanel's world where we talk about everybody because we can't can when we can't can can't can can't can and a wheel. All right, yes, we're back. We're back because Nene is back. Now you would have thought she would have just played silent for at least another couple of months. But that's something that it seems like she just cannot do. But we're getting a story from the Jasmine brand and she's a listing a big dog, a person that put a decapitated picture of the previous president's head. And we saw how that ended. They even got rid of her. I think she was a correspondent uh, over there at CNN. And she was hosting the Dick Clark special for, um, what is it, New Year's Eve, ball dropping and all that good stuff. But child, after she did a skit, because she's a comedian. After she did that skit with um, Trump the Trump's head. Child, please. You talking about somebody got blackballed? Somebody just got uh, thrown away? Oh, child. But it's weird. Nene is using her as a possible um, witness for her in her discrimination racism lawsuit against Bravo. All right. Now, we had an Ariel Whitley put this article out for the jasmine brand she's uh her magazine or blogging station is our resource and they title it as nini leaks in talks with reality star kathy griffin to become a witness in discrimination lawsuit against andy cohen and bravo so child this was just put out today all right now you mean to tell me oh uh, what's her name Nene is trying to exhaust all avenues. She's going to go full throttle. She's going to fight this instead of using it in arbitration where she can get what she thinks she could get. Because it's a win or lose situation is what she's facing now. A win or lose situation. Because they don't told you in your contract what it is, Nene. You're going to mess around. You're going to lose everything. But from what you're doing out there in them streets, but you ain't publicizing it no more, you trying to lose all your ends anyway by supporting a grown-ass man who has several businesses where he makes suits. But yet, you're showering him with everything and the affection also, okay? And you're looking at a lawsuit of 100000 plus from your so-called boyfriend's estranged wife. Because, yes, last time we checked, he was still married. But anyway, we're going into the article. And it is being displayed as it looks like reality star Nene Leakes is preparing for a fight to win her multi-million dollar lawsuit against TV network Bravo and its affiliates. According to Radar Online, Real Housewives of Atlanta, a veteran, Nene Leakes 54 is pulling out all the stops necessary to help her win her discrimination a uh, lawsuit. The TV personality is reportedly working towards teaming up with one of Bravo's heavy hitters, reality star Kathy Griffin, 61. Okay, if she wants to see 62, she might need to stop messing with Nene. Okay, because did Nene not remember the catastrophic fall that she had from her throne with that decapitated head skit she did? Child, that woman started, she was very pretty. When they got finished with her and all the Sleep she was missing because of the headlines. That woman looked like she was sick as a dog. She really was looking sick, okay? 
And if the pictures keep rolling, I can show y'all. But y'all can see and look yourself. It's the one where she looks pale-faced, like she ain't had, haven't slept in many, many moons ago. And she's just like a vampire just sitting up there. See, she's full of life, vitality, and all that good stuff. That makes her who she was when she was in the comedian world. Don't know if she's still there or not, but it is what it is. You see, she has so, so much radiance, so much uh, sass in her step. Very pretty lady and to be a redhead, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yo, child, she was all smiles, but lo and behold, when she did that skit, she was looking like a total whole different person, a person that looked like they've been on the weather for some months, okay? Like, they was at death's door. I mean, nothing was inviting her. I mean, inviting to her. It was nothing that she felt she wanted to probably want to live for, in a sense. Because they had did her real bad. I mean, comedians, that's what they do. They joke around. They don't really mean that they finna go out there and do said act. But... We look to them for our comedy needs to get that ha-ha laugh, laugh, chuckle, chuckle. You know what I'm saying. But they did not take too kindly to what she had did. And she pretty much was like ousted from the comedian world, from CNN uh, world of uh, what talking about, you know, things and that going across the countries and locals. You know, she was a little correspondent over there. Now, like I said, she hosted the Dick Clark uh, Rocking Eve special with uh, Andy's best friend over there. Mm-hmm. That wouldn't give him a job on his team of being one of the correspondents. Yes, he shunned him. <laughs> but it's just ill what it is, child. It's ill what it is. But, um, yeah. Trippity, you see how she looked like? Do you see what she looked like, people? She was once viable. She was just one uh, radiant. Uh, but after that, you see how she looked. She looked like plain Jane and needed to go sit herself down somewhere and put some makeup on. Or she probably just was like, she can't take it. You know, the publicity was just too much for her. And, you know, I always thought, Nene said she cashed Trump checks. Why her political pool of a gentleman at slash president can't help her out of this predicament and i know trump got his hands all up in everything so why 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 would she not call on her old friend because he wasn't your friend you just participated in a celebrity apprenticeship program that he had on tv and it's just is what it is okay Nothing new, nothing uh, fictitious about it. Just was, is what it was, and it was what it was. Okay, but then we're going back to the article. It says, Nene Leakes, born Lanethia Monique Johnson, filed a discrimination lawsuit in Atlanta court over claims that she suffered years of racist, r racist remarks from former cast, castmate Kim Zosiak Beerman, who is white. And I'm like, okay. We knew the whole thing about that, and it's going to be very murky if they put Nene on the stand and she had to testify why she kept going back and forth, being in a relationship as a friendship with Kim, and then ousting her as one of her friends. You know, y'all were just recently close. What happened? So it's going to, you know, that teeter totting thing you're doing, Nene, uh, it might bite your ass in the face, okay? But, you know, you got your said lawyer, so it is what it is. Do you have, like, Tasha K um, representation, honey? Do you have Tasha K type of representation? Because if you do, you better quick, fast, in a hurry, fire them and go look for somebody a little heavy hitting uh, that likes to win cases. Okay, they sleep and eat cases. You see what I'm saying? But going back to the article, it says leaks. It says, Leaks claims her co-star made racially charged remarks to her repeatedly with no consequences, accuses Bravo, NBC Universal, and Andy Cohen of fostering a racially toxic work environment. A judge granted both sides until August the 19th to negotiate the dispute outside of a court, a source connected to the lawsuit stated. Okay. 
Long before The Real Housewives, Cassie had her own hit show on Bravo. My Life on the G-List put Andy Cohen on the map at a time when the network was basically still a startup. Kathy knows everything about Bravo and Andy. She was there from day one and saw how the machine operates. Nene knows that. In addition, source says most celebrities um, associated with the network are refusing to help leaks. The source noted that if Kathy Griffin agrees to be a witness, then the floodgates will open up. As previously reported, the entertainer accused Andy Cohen of getting his, uh, her blacklisted after she called the network out for racist behavior. Leaks recently revealed she's been working on a book for the past year that was seemingly addressed the racist allegations and how she's been treated by the network. Okay, and this is strictly coming from the Jasmine brand, and I'm pretty sure they did their due diligence with researching or vetting the materials and the people that were possibly going to support or hinder Nene's case. So we need to keep this um uh, we need to keep this on the front burner and we'll come back as you know um things progress in her case because hey, we already knocking on the door. Next week will be August. You see what I'm saying? So it's just going to be real fast, quick, in a hurry. That time is going to approach. And then everybody's going to have to show their hand that's affiliated with this case. But that's all I got for this particular video, guys. Like it, love it, got to have more. Get down in those comments. Let me think. I mean, tell me what you think about said topic we were discussing. And don't forget to share, like, subscribe to my channel. My other channel over there. I can't get it to move. It's just still stuck. Even though I know I haven't been over there. And I know I have to put the link in there. Because like you, like me, we're lazy. So, uh, we don't want to go search for anything. We want everything right where we can just click, click, click. So, I'm working on that, guys. But, you know, hey, your girl be tired. <laughs> After working a full-time job, still trying to do what I need to do around the house, then come up here on this too. But like I said, I like it. It's a hobby. It brings me supple uh, supplemental income. So y'all get what I got when I can give it to you, okay? Because that's why we're family. <laughs> You're supposed to understand these things. But truly love each and every one of you all. Like I said, com uh, continue to comment in those uh, comment sections. And um, I'll definitely see y'all on the next video. Bye-bye.